Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. So welcome everybody and hello. My name is Andrew David. This is Blake Newbar's partner program, High Performance Call, Monday through Friday, noon Eastern time. We're here live. If you don't make it live, you've got them recorded on YouTube. Um, September 2017, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about growth. And, and there's a great quote that I have shared from time to time from Tony Robbins about how a lot of times people will overestimate the short term and they grossly underestimate the long term. We are caught in a situation and oftentimes in that situation, all you can see is your immediate problems, the immediate trials, things that are you're dealing with right now, right? It's like when you go on a hike. And I'm here in the mountains right now. When you start that hike and you're there at the base of the mountain, you see the pathway in front of you. And sometimes you can see the trail a little bit, but all you can see is that one or two steps, step by step by step. And, and oftentimes there is the exhaustion that comes in. And if you're not used to the hike, then it can really be tiring. But then when you get done, you get to the top, you get to the summit, or you get to whatever lookout point you're going for. And you look out across the valley, the canyon, what have you, and you see that view and you realize that all of it was worth it. And so many times during that, that pathway, as you're taking the steps, you're going, am, am I going to make it? Am I going to have the, you know, the, the fortitude? Am I physically strong enough? I'm, I'm too tired. Maybe I should turn around. Maybe this isn't for me. I don't know why we came out to hike right now. Anyway, I probably didn't bring enough water. Maybe and we start to look for all of these different excuses why we shouldn't complete the pathway that we're on. And then this quote with Tony Robbins, we overestimate the short term and grossly underestimate the long term. Guys, we start on a pathway and we oftentimes can't see where it's going to lead. Now, September 2017, I was in my journey working online. I was doing okay. Um, you know, I was already full time. And building a couple of businesses online, I got a chance to come to a master master right here in Sundance and small group, about 12, 15 people. And um, one of the speakers here was a guy by the name of James Lawrence, Iron Cowboy. And if you haven't heard of him yet, I know we've got some new people on. So Iron Cowboy, James Lawrence, go look him up, look, up, look him up on, uh, on Amazon. There's a documentary about him. You can find him everywhere. Uh, he is a gentleman that set world records with Ironman triathlons, and then he did 50 of them in 50 days in 50 states, which was absolutely bonkers. It's a story that I've talked about on some of my high performance calls, so I don't want to spend a ton of time on that. But then um, I also, you know, and then he did this year, he did 100 of them in a row, full distance, you know, 2.3 mile swim, 140 mile bike, 26.2 mile or 114 mile bike, 26.2 uh, mile run. Amazing individual. I got a chance to hear him speak in September and it, of 2017. And I remember sitting in that audience and I, I've got a picture and I'll share it with you guys later on. I've got a picture meeting him and holding the book up that he had just signed and, and you know, pointing a picture and being like, this is so cool. And just hearing and thinking like, man, I want to get to more events where I get to hear people like this. I want to listen to these guys speak. I want to hear what's going on. I want to be introduced to more people like that. And so I, I started pushing more and more. I'd already been on this pathway of personal development and marketing and, you know, doing kind of what I'm doing now. I just wasn't at the magnitude that I'm doing. And, and I was pushing deeper and deeper into that, reading more, watching more, learning more, everything that I could to learn and consume that info and try and apply it as often as possible. Don't get caught up in planning out your hike into the mountains without getting outside the door and taking those first steps. Some of you guys are caught up still planning mapping out and mapping out and mapping out. And then you map it out and then you decide, you know, that pathway might look a little bit differently and then you or a little difficult. And so you create a different one. And then you pull out a different, well, maybe if I drive over here, I can find an easier pathway. Or if I do this, it would be a little bit simpler. Maybe I need to train on the treadmill before I actually get out into the mountains. I did, I'm going to share with you guys a video. I did, I filmed a video in 2017 um, at the end of that mastermind talking about level of commitment. There's a question that um, even then went working with people, with customers that I already had, and I, I've talked with some of you guys about, you know, on a scale of one to 10, how committed do you think you are to your goals? How willing are you to push yourself to get where you need to be? And 
And a lot of times we say, oh, I'm at a 10. I'm fully committed. And then when you look, our actions don't line up with that level of commitment. Because if I say I'm at a level 10 and I'm going to push, I'm going to do everything that I can to get there. And it doesn't matter how tall the mountain is. And I'm just going to give myself more time. I'm going to train as I'm doing it. I'm going to keep pushing. And so during my pathway over the last few years, I have done that. I have acted. Sometimes wasn't, uh, wasn't always great at what I was doing. Oftentimes, right? You suck at the beginning. That's just part of the pathway. But I look for opportunities to get in, you know, get into events where I can meet extra people. I look for opportunities to learn from other people, to work with other people. And more and more and more of those opportunities came up. Well, just before September this year, four years uh, after being here in Sundance and that initial meeting with James Lawrence, I was approached with an opportunity to um, help an individual build out their coaching program to talk to them about how that process should look, how how look at a little bit more at branding, look at the messaging, uh, look at how to deliver that message to their audience. Sound familiar? Kind of like what I talk to you guys about often, often, right? Right. He's got this great message. He's got this great product. How can we develop that product out a little bit more? How can we help create the message where the people actually connect? What kind of follow-up needs to be in place? Same type of stuff we talk about all the time. That person that I get to work with that now I get to consult with now that I get to work with is James Lawrence, Iron Cowboy. The guy that four years I was sitting in an audience with listening to just going, man, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm here. Hearing this guy, he's so cool. Now I get to work with him. Now, while I'm here, we're having conversations about an opportunity to work with um, some other people that are on a list of, you know, people that I never would have imagined you know, years ago, I never would have imagined being able to sit and, and work with them. And I'm not saying it's finalized yet, but there's a, a real possibility for some of it. And I'm going to push, I'm going to do everything that I can. Do I feel I'm totally ready for it? Yeah. No. But I'm going to figure it out anyway. Right? I'm going to hike the mountain and I'll figure out the trail as I go. I'm going to keep pushing. <clears throat> And it came about because a few years ago, I committed to myself that I was going to be good, not just be good at this personal development space and the marketing space. I didn't want to be good. I wasn't looking for something. Yeah, I wanted passive income, but I wasn't just looking for something that would pay me a few bucks here and there that I could play at. And some of you guys may want to just put in just a little bit of time and get a few bucks. And that's cool, man. No problem with that. That's absolutely great. Some of you guys are looking at it and, and don't yet recognize what you're capable of. And you may be thinking, man, I would love to be at an event and hear someone like that speak. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you keep pushing in, you know, down that pathway, you won't know what's on the other side of the mountain. You, you won't know what that view looks like when you get to the summit until you get there. Mm -hmm. Right. Some of you have some amazing niches. Some of you are taking, you know, 20, 30, 40 years of a career. And you're starting to find your voice. You're starting to find yourself. You're starting to find a fire within you. And if, if that fire is a little dim once in a while, if you're kind of sitting in a, in a spot and you're going, you know, I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at. Sometimes you need to just keep pushing. And, and what happens is you come walk around a, a bend or a corner, or, you know, this turn on the pathway and something sparks. And I want to talk a little bit about that this next week, about finding that motivation when things are okay, when things are all right. Um, so that you can find that drive no matter where you're at in life. And I will tell you guys, there are moments, especially in the last few years for me, there have been moments where I just, you know, I wasn't sure where things were going. There have been moments where I thought other things were going to work out that didn't. But you keep pushing. Because, yeah, that all-in commitment, it's not implemented enough. But being all in and committed to your dreams, I don't have to be committed to, truthfully, guys, the, the partner program that you have with Blake, he didn't create it to be the end all be all of everything that you ever do. He created it to be something that gives you, you know, a vehicle that you can strap into and get running and it'll take you where you want to go to an extent, but some of you are looking to do bigger and better. And so at some point you're going to have to come in and you'll take that vehicle and you'll put in a bigger engine and you'll slap on some newer tires, whatever other silly metaphor I can come up with, you'll roll with it and you'll get bigger and better. 
but you've got to decide how committed you are. You got to decide how much you want to push. Michael saying just actively pursuing a goal, the opportunities fall in your lap. We say that, I, that phrase I think is interesting. I know, Michael, you, you understand what I'm saying here. We say they fall in our lap. The opportunity only comes up because you're, you're running in the direction of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. They will not fall in your lap if all you're doing is sitting on your butt. If all you're doing is consuming the education, you're not taking action, it's not going to happen. But if you're continuously doing both and you're balancing out both, you are learning, you know, you're educating, you're executing, you're always doing those things, you'll get to that point where those doors start to open. And if they don't open for you, you'll be able to kick them down and say, damn it, look at me. I'm here and I've got something that's going to help me. And creating that, and, and look, guys, the, the reality is, is that may be tens of thousands of people in this world. It may be a thousand. It may be just your family. But if you can create a change, the effect that that can have overall is tremendous. So what I want you to do is kind of look at where you're at right now. I want you to think about how committed you are to your goals. A scale of one to 10. And if you're at a nine, if you're at a 10, then nothing's going to get in your way. You're going to hike that trail no matter what. You're going to quit thinking about it and you're just going to do it, damn it. Just get out there. And if you're already doing it, then you're going to keep on doing it. And you're going to start looking for those opportunities to hear and learn from others that have done it until eventually you're having conversations with those same people and they're saying, hey, how should I craft this message so that I can talk to more? And you'll have those same opportunities. Yep, the Indiana Jones, the leap of faith. Step out there. Ladies and gentlemen, go out and have an amazing day. Have an awesome weekend. Um, if you're in the Skype channel, you're going to get a couple of videos over the next few days. So I'm going to send those to you. I appreciate you guys, as always, being here. I love the group that we've got. I love the community. You guys, go out and be amazing. Um, find a way, always, always find a way, no matter what flames are burning down around you, how this world is blowing up. Rise up from the Sometimes people have what it takes to have the right to take care, guys. Just go forward. So, what do you need to do? How do you stand up? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the Phoenix is saying.